Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to more Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Also, do you notice something, you guys? What? Huh? The title screen's oh. different. Yeah, we're in the dancer's room. The ballet dancer. That is so cool. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Hmm. Alright, let's get right into it. 9th of January, oh, we SS Varia First Class Cabin Passageway. I wish we hadn't been thrown out like that. I wish we'd managed to find some clue as to what that speckled band might be. We didn't manage to investigate at all. No, all we learned is that Herlock is the worst detective in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and I imagine that we won't be able to for a while longer. We'll never get past the sailor guarding the door. He's clearly glaring at us as if to say don't even think about it. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Well, what happened to our great detective friend? Where did he go? Oh, yes! He's completely disappeared! No, that means Steak doesn't get a voice. When did he do that? <laughs> he slipped away as quietly as the wind, but not before ensuring these were securely back on my wrists. Uh, what should I do, you guys? You never did take a look at that mousetrap, did you? I don't That's remember. That's right, that mousetrap is an enigma. Perhaps it's a crucial clue we've been looking for. I doubt it, but... I doubt it's just crucial, for but... the heck of it. Ah, a trap for catching mice. Yes, we have plenty of those back home in Japan. Although they seem to be using a lump of chalk or something as bait. Let me see. Yes, I think that's what is called cheese. It's made from the milk of cows. Cheese? I wonder what that tastes like. Haha. <laughs> like the sweet nectar of the gods. You can't eat it, Narahato san. The trap will snap shut on your fingers. Really? But. <laughs> I suppose you're right. You also don't know how long it's been there. You weren't actually gonna try it, were you? All I've had to eat for the past couple of weeks is Kazuma's leftovers. You don't know how hungry I've been in that wardrobe. Oh, poor you. I'll find a little snack for you later. Also, mice and rats, they actually prefer peanut butter. Huh, didn't know that. Yeah, chocolate That too. is true. Bam, 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 bam. First class cabin number one. Yes, that's our cabin. Not our cabin. It's Kazuma-sama's. Sorry? Your accommodation is confined to the wardrobe inside the cabin. You know how to make a stowaway feel small, don't you? As small as the wardrobe I've been calling home. Anyway, I wonder if Inspector Hosunaga has managed to uncover any new clues. Yes, we should probably find him and ask. To the right. I really wish we'd had a chance to look around in Miss Pavlova's cabin. That. Why do you look like that? You want something? Hmm? Maybe. You want me to throw you out again, hmm? Oh, no, no, definitely not that. Next time I have to throw you out, I show you where lobsters spend the winter. Understand? Understand. Maybe I should steer clear of him until he's forgotten my face. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever forget your face, Naruhado san. No. Uh, he drinks vodka for breakfast, so maybe he will. Okay, just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Alright. That door leads to the second class area. It's locked. I can't open it. No, well, that stands to reason. No one wants to let the murderer escape. 
gosh, she gave me a very stern look when she said that. Alright. I guess, uh, we just move to... I guess oh, look, we go back look. To she says little things about that. We shall never be able to... Oh. Oh. Nice. It also grays it out, but she also says we shall never be able to enter the other cabin with Seaman Stroganoff in the way. Yeah. And then, and then here she says we haven't visited this place in a while, have we? You know, that's kind of my voice, so... Uh, sorry. Maybe I should read that. <laughs> oh well. We're having an off day. It looks like they're still investigating in here. Yes, on that subject. I wonder if an Inspector Hosanaga is unscathed. What do you mean, unscathed? Surely you haven't forgotten, have you, naruhato san Don't you remember what he said about fo allowing you out of this cabin to investigate? Oh yeah, that he'd laid down his life for it? He was going to talk to the captain about it. He said he'd lay his life on the line for you. Oh, yes. But I'm sure he was exaggerating. <laughs> oh god, what if he wasn't? Let's see what he has to say for himself. He might have some new information for us, you never know. Where is Inspector Hosanaga? Oh, there we go. <coughs> Oh, yes, um. Oh, he's got a bruise. Uh oh. He had the shit beaten ah, out of him. You... So he did. Oh, too bad. Yes. Inspector! What happened to you? Your face is. <clears throat> Please, don't worry about it. I've taken the liberty of taking a beating for you. They're just scratches. Tis but a scratch. Made by a bear, maybe. When I told the captain that I'd given you permission to investigate, he told me he'd pummel me with his fists and then toss me overboard. What? Ah, but the pummeling was over in a flash, and he must have decided against throwing me overboard. So, it was nothing, really. Looks like he wasn't just joking when he said he'd lay his life on the line if he had to. <laughs> well, thanks to your efforts, we now know a little about the neighboring cabin. Uh, yes, so I understand. Oh. Sorry, you probably heard that airplane. I did. I bumped yeah. into a man claiming to be a great detective a little while ago. I think his same was something like Herr Lock Sholmes. I don't think he was German, though. Ah, that explains it. Shall we compare notes, then? We can tell you what we found out. Yes! Let's do it! Cabin next door. What? Nikolina Pavlova? She's in the cabin next door? Oh, do you know who she is? Please! What self-respecting ballet fan wouldn't know that graceful angel? <laughs> Oops, uh, I think I upset- TV or internet? Sorry. That tells us the neighboring cabin is unrelated to the case, at least. Oh, how? Don't you dare. Damn it, I knew it. Because angels don't go around committing crimes, do they? Unless they have parasols and butterflies. Oh now I've definitely Simping. upset him. Inspector, has your investigation in here proved fruitful? Oh, yeah. If I'm honest, there's very little more that I can do. Our duty is to make certain the scene isn't disturbed, ready to hand over to the Hong Kong police. So, I'm just keeping watch here, trying not to take my eyes off the job. Oh, I see. Ah, there 
is one thing. I do have a small piece of new information for you. Oh, what? Yes, do tell us, Inspector, please. So we're probably not going to get through this chapter tonight, but, um, or, I mean, we're definitely we'll not going to get through the chapter, but I mean the second part of investigation. Right. <clears throat> what is this new information you have, Inspector? <clears throat> it's this. <laughs> Beria's medical officer has finished his examination of the body. I managed to obtain the report. Okay, so he really is dead. Oh, Kazuma's no. post-mortem report? Kazuma-sama. I was totally wrong about having seen him in the in the other court, by the way. So what I was the cause of death? It. Oh, you Damage cannot survive that. Yeah, definitely not. Damage to the cervical vertebrae is what's written in that report. Cervical bruising, huh? His neck was broken? Oof. Uh, yes, it would seem so. There were no obvious wounds or other signs of injury. So at first, I think they were considering poison. Love that song. But it turns out they found no trace of poison in his system at all. Well, what weapon was used then? <laughs> Nothing has been found as yet, but the fact that there are no signs of a wound suggests it may have been a blunt object. Something that wouldn't leave a mark. Objection? Of course a blunt object would leave a mark. Yeah. How does he have a broken oh, neck? I see. Um, oh, also, God, who needs a point. weapon when uh, a strong enough impact to the neck? Or, or you can literally snap someone's neck by, like, turning it the wrong way. Uh, 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 I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an absolute wimp when it comes to that kind of kill. Like, anytime there's some shit like that in a movie, I'll just cringe. Oh, sorry. Alright, Susato. Does look strong enough to do that? Anyway. All the body's nerves run through the spine to the brain. A strong enough impact to the neck could induce death. It is a possibility. No obvious wound would be left. Poor Kazuma. I don't believe this for one second. I've taken the liberty of making a second copy of the report. If it might be useful, you're welcome to have it. Really? Are you sure? Yes, good sir. It's fine. I trust you. <laughs> After all, if I didn't trust you, I'd never have agreed to you leaving this cabin in the first place, now would I? Ah. The post-mortem report has been entered into the court record. She still has her doubts. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Sholmes was here, was he? Ah, uh, yes, he was. He seemed to be enjoying himself a little too much as he crept about on the floor investigating. But then he suddenly left. I suppose he must have become bored. There's nothing That's boring about this. Taco. Did he say anything at all? Actually, now that you mention it, yes. Just one thing, but he practically shouted it. It's shoe polish, was all he said. <coughs> shoe polish? I wonder what he meant. Is he talking about the turd shape? It was when he was over there. Oh. It was when he was over there by the, the piece of broken glass. Do you see that poo stain on the floor? Ah, perhaps he was talking about the brick colored mark, do you think? That doesn't look like a brick color. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh, yes, that must be it. 
but how could Mr. Sholmes know it's shoe polish? We can identify by smell. Hmm, that leaves me cold, I'm afraid. I have no idea. What is it, Susato-san? Well... Kazuma-sama was wearing leather shoes with a very dark tan hue. Dark tan? A sort of dark brownish red, then. Brown yes, red. a little like the color of red wine, but darker. I often repair them for him. Oh, does this mean... That this mark was made by the polish on Kazuma's shoes as they scuffed on the floor? Hmm... Possible that the mark was made when they dragged his body away? Perhaps. You know, at this camera angle, the stain doesn't look that narrow. The other camera shot they give you looks super narrow. Hmm. But that's all I can really tell you at this stage. I should really return to my post. My fellow crewmen's eyes are boring into the back of my head. Yes, that might be for the best. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Inspector, you look exhausted. Oh, tis nothing. You know who else is exhausted right now? Uh, Me. Oh, no. Well, ah. Uh. <laughs> I feel terrible that I failed to protect Asogi-san. He was my responsibility. Can we see the body? Of course, my pain is nothing compared to yours. You were his friends. The truth is... I seem to have had a heavy head ever since I woke this morning. Ouch. Hmm. A heavy head? That's interesting. My head's still throbbing, too. Well, if your sight grows dim, you'll have to stay for the night. Okay, um, should we talk to... Isn't it weird yeah, that to... several people to... are having yeah. symptoms of a hangover? You! Where did you go? Oh, sorry, I just went to the next door cabin to investigate. Why? Who gave you permission for these? Um, well, inspe I mean, Simon Hosonaga did. That new Japanese, was it? Later, I will roll him into ball and throw him in cold room. Mm, Phew, he's, he's gone back to guarding the door. I hope Inspector Hosanaga doesn't find himself in too much trouble on our account. Watch Kazuma be alive and then the captain murders Hosanaga. <laughs> 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 he's really gone out of his way to help us, hasn't he? Or he drops dead of his tuberculosis. Yeah, that's too When we get back to Japan, we'll that. have to take him for a steak at La Carnival. That could be f a very long time from now, naruhato san Why? I thought, I thought, like, every case, like, switched between Japan and... I might be wrong about that, though. This is where Kazuma spent his final moments writing his diary. 1.32 a.m. I can... Uh, right. <laughs> Faint whistling sound. It's just what we've already like read this. What looks like the is dangling from the ventilator grill. Looking at his writing here on this page, it's almost impossible to believe that he's gone. Kazuma-sama left us a valuable clue in those words, I'm sure of it. We have to solve this mo mystery, Naruhado san. We will. So it's clear that these letters were written with the ink that somehow spilt on the floor. And they spelled the Russian word for rope wardrobe. It does seem to be an ambiguous pointer to you, Naruhado san, as you were sleeping in there. Unambiguous. But to be truly unambiguous, it should have just spelt out my name, don't you think? Well, either way, one fact remains. 
hard to imagine that Kazuma-sama would have written his last words, or word, in Russian. Which begs the question of who did write it. No, it raises the question. What? Just a pet peeve of mine. Begging the question is a logical fallacy where I think we're again. Oh shut up, Steak. <laughs> so this ventilator joins to Miss Pavlova's cabin. Yes, that's right. And just a few minutes before he died, Kazuma saw something emerging from it. The speckled band, as he described it. If only Miss Pavlova had been able to shed some light on it. But she seemed as baffled as we are. Hmm. Yes, I wonder if she's telling us everything, though. I'm not sure. I know most people aboard would say the same about me, but... There was something about that woman that didn't qu sit quite right with me. She did it! Everyone did it! They all did it! But if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, I did. In the hall, with the revolver. <laughs> the stuff laying on the floor doesn't have a check mark. The katana does, but the st other stuff laying on the floor doesn't. Oh, well, the shoe nudge. polish. It really is such a beautiful color, this glass. It looks like whatever it was is broken clean in two. But the other half is nowhere to be seen. And then there's the brick-colored mark. Which is shoe polish, according to that great detective you seem to know all about. I suppose it must be from Kazuma-sama's shoes. Maybe, but what I'd like to know is how can the detective be so sure that it's shoe polish and not something else? Because he's a great detective, of course! That's hardly a reason, is it? Hardly. I was talking about the other stuff that's on the floor. Does it have a check mark? No. Well, the ink doesn't have it. The ink doesn't. There's but I'm nothing talking else about on the floor. The candlestick, the candlestick, and the book, and yeah, that stuff. it's not even like. See, it's not even focusing on it. It's not clickable. Okay. Wait, rules of passage. These are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Beria. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. So by bringing her pet on board, Miss Pavlova has broken the rules. Mm -hmm. She called it her friend, didn't she? Yes, although we don't know what form this friend takes as yet. I'm almost certain that whatever it is, is inside the traveling case in her cabin. Hmm. A friend. There's more to this than it seems, I think. All the books provided for passengers occupying this cabin neatly arranged on the shelf. They were all over the place when we first looked around, if you remember. I do remember, and you shouldn't have tidied them up like that. Oh yes, and you tidied them up, didn't you? You have to look after the ship's property. Unruly behavior in the cabins leads to damage. But it really wasn't me who knocked them over. Well, anyway, I feel much better now that they're neatly lined up. I can't relax when things are untidy. Oh, you're one of those people, eh? Alright, um... Yeah, same. How about the ink spill? Nope. That doesn't have a check mark on it. But is it? Doesn't have anything on it. Okay. No, it's not examinable. Yeah. Okay. If it doesn't, if it doesn't start like flashing, like that, okay. uh, what about then it's the not examinable. In the, vent, in the, vent. the crosshairs also change shape. Yeah. Oh, you already saw that one. Okay. I'm looking okay. literally everywhere. Hmm. And I ain't seeing oh. crap. 
Oh boy, it's a good old fashioned pixel hunt. Am I supposed to talk to someone? There's no one to talk to. I feel like I've examined every nook and cranny. Maybe you missed something in the hallway? Oh, okay, something important's going on here. In the hallway? Okay. Ah! Look, Naruhado-san! Seaman Stroganoff is gone! Strong enough? The burly Russian sailor who's always crossing his arms and glaring at us! Ugh, all these Russian names are impossible to remember. It's hard to remember Beef Stroganov. <laughs> They're Japanese, they probably don't even know what that, what that <laughs> okay, is. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, to be fair... Uh, Did you hear that? that was actually... It sounded like someone singing. tra la la li ra la Oh. Tra ra ra boom be a. I did it the great detective way. <laughs> I assume that's the detective. This caroling. I know that lark like voice. John Lark? <laughs> well, never mind that now. This is a golden opportunity for us. Lark like. Yes, you're right. We must seize it. Seize the day. Let's get inside Miss Pavlova's cabin while we can and investigate. Direct measures the carp. Definitely, before that stringy knot crewman comes back. It's stro- It's strong right. enough, not stringy knot. <laughs> strong enough. Miss Pavlova's cabin. This could be our chance. What? The burly sailor doesn't appear to be around at the moment. We could investigate every last inch of that cabin. I'm not sure if we could go that far, but we could certainly do with looking around more. I'm sure we could learn something. I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear it either. You didn't hear like a sort of clicking sound besides the pen, I mean. Oh, I thought that wasn't now we'll probably hear it in the recording. The pet is out. Miss Pavlova isn't back yet. Susato-san? Oh, where's she gone? Hey, what are you doing? Those are her private things. There's not a moment to waste, Naruhato-san. We must investigate as quickly as we can. I suppose you're right, for Kazuma's sake. Not just for Kazuma-sama. What do you mean? It can't be long now until we arrive at port in Hong Kong. I thought we were going to- I don't want you to be in those handcuffs when we get there. Well, it's not like it's a straight shot to England and they had to stop at every port, you know. True. Really? We must solve this case, Naruhado-san. By ourselves if we have to. <laughs> yes, we will. Well, from my understanding, they left port from Hong Kong just the day prior. Oh, no, shit. So they had to turn the ship around and go back to Hong Kong. So they'll probably be back uh, that night. I thought they came out of Shanghai. Yeah, they came out of Shanghai. Oh, okay, Shanghai. Mm. Naruhada-san, are you there? Sorry? I'm right here, yes. Why? Oh, good. I thought you might have climbed into the wardrobe when I wasn't looking. There's no place like home. Believe me, I don't have some strange compulsion to jump inside every wardrobe I see, you know. Well, anyway, I'm not sure anyone could fit inside this one anyway. It's full of beautiful outfits. I suppose they're all stage costumes. Hmm, I was rather hoping we might find Miss Pavlova's friend hiding in there, but no such luck. 
Okay. There's one of these next to the bed in Kazuma's cabin, too. Yes, it's a bell cord. I can't resist. She barely hesitated there, and she gave it a good tug, too. Stay! <laughs> idiot. No, I didn't actually expect anyone to come. We don't want them to! We're trying to investigate in secret! You're such a child sometimes. Who, a steak? No, Susato. Ah. <laughs> so this ventilator connects to Kazuma's cabin next door. Not gonna lie, I like the red and gold. Yes, although what a fool of shipbuilder must be to open a ventilator into another room. Yeah, the red and gold's pretty nice, isn't it? Ah, it maybe. Is. It's so that if there's a gas leak next door, the occupant of this cabin would notice and raise the alarm. Or, the occupants of both cabins would die of gas poisoning. Hmm, that is a possibility. Anyway, last night, Suma wrote that he saw a speckled band coming out of this ventilator. Did you happen to notice the case? I did notice the case. I'm working my way from left to right, from right to left. Ah, uh, gotcha. This cabin door has the simple so same simple sort of belt bolted latch that our cabin door has. If the bolt's drawn across, there's no way anybody could enter the cabin from outside. Hang on a second. Oh wait, never mind. Yes, it's not a particularly heavy-duty bolt, is it? But still, it wouldn't slide across of its own accord, would it? No, and the door is made of metal, so there's no chance of trickery using magnets to unbolt it from the outside. Besides, no one knows how those work. And it seals up perfectly, too, to stop any seawater coming in. So you couldn't use the method you told me of passing a thread through a crack around the closed door, either. I seem to know a lot of tricks for opening doors, and I'm starting to see why they suspect me. <coughs> ah yes, they're displayed in this cabin too, look! The SS Barrier's Rules of Passage. Passengers must not keep weapons- uh, really? Okay. Yes. I suppose Miss Pavova realized that she needed to keep the contents of her case a secret after she read this. Her special friend, I mean. I wonder where her friend has disappeared to now. It's probably having fun exploring the ship, I imagine. I just hope Seaman Stroganoff doesn't find it and throw it overboard. <laughs> oh yes, so do I. <laughs> <coughs> All the books have toppled over together. Look, every single one. You think that's a god of the sea, perhaps? He's toppled too, though. Don't straighten them up. It's exactly the same as the bookcase next door. In Kazuma's cabin. Perhaps... Perhaps Miss Pavlova was practicing a difficult ballet pose and fell against the bookcase? No, I mean it's exactly the same. I don't know, would she really be practicing ballet on the same night she ran away from her ballet company? Alright then. Sasaka so really is the Maya. didn't want anything to do with the ballet ever again. Mm -hmm. It must have been you. You lost your temper and knocked them all over in a fit of rage. Not everything bad that happens on this ship is because of me, you know. Don't straight- no! No! Well, no. anyway, I'll set them all straight again in here, too. I don't like seeing things in disarray. No, don't- Oh my god! No! Hey, uh, what about- what about this JavaScript object instead of an array? Uh... Susato-san. I hate that. I hate that so much. 
It could be valuable evidence. Oh my! This fifth of his case is open! It's completely empty inside, but according to the great detective's great edu great deduction, she was hiding her special friend in there. Yes, a friend that she had to keep secret. Because you're not allowed to bring animals aboard the SS Beria. <coughs> I wonder what kind of animals she had in there. And more to the point, where is it now? It's not gonna let you look inside the blues? There's just a few books on the desk. Nothing else by the looks of it. While Miss Pavlova only ran away from the ballet last night, she's hardly occupied this cabin for any time at all. That's true. I wonder what kind of books she likes to read. Hmm. Let me see. Yes. Yes, I see. It would seem that Miss Pavlova enjoys reading. Books written in Russian. You don't say. Thanks, I think I probably already knew that. Why am I reading Osuke? <laughs> it's rude to ask too much of people, Naruhato-san. Kindly remember that. <laughs> Thanks. I Why think I could have told- so dense? I suppose every cabin has a waste paper basket. Shall we have a little look and see what's been thrown away? Naruhato song. It's poor etiquette to go sifting through someone's rubbish, you know. <sighs> Those eyes. She's looking at me like I'm a piece of rubbish now. However, these are special circumstances, I think. Exactly, we have no choice. There's hardly anything in here at all. Oh, well, that's a little disappointing. There's a pan on the floor. I wonder what this little saucer is doing on the floor. Yes, it doesn't look like it's been dropped. More like it was put there deliberately. Ah, do you think? Do you think there could be a leak on the roof just above here? What? A leak? Is this ship quite safe? I'm sure that even if there's a little leak in the roof, it doesn't mean the whole ship is going to sink. No, no, you're right. Of course you're right. She's really Why trying to persuade so herself. Dense. She's so dense. It's obvious that it was to give water or something to the pet. Oh uh, yeah. It would seem this teapot is empty. Hmm, so the natural conclusion is that the Russians are very thirsty people. <laughs> what? Oh my. Or because Miss Pavlova only came into this cabin last night, she hasn't had the chance to make any tea yet. I mean, it could be either. Mm -hmm. It's definitely that it's they're excessively thirsty. I'd lay a thousand to one on it. You're rather obstinate, aren't you, Anara Adasan? Hmm. Um. I. We just investigated thoroughly, didn't we? I think we have. Yeah, I don't think you missed anything. And I think. that we need to go back to our cabin because I think the pet has moved. Hmm. We're missing something. Uh, that's where you just came from. I know. Wait, what if it requires you to examine the books a second time? Nope. Uh... 
What about the bag? Does it light up on the bag? No. Well, we obviously don't see the pet in here. I think we need to go back to our cabin and look at our vent. Wait, seriously? Well, but the pet's usually, not in here. Usually when you've done something, once you've thoroughly yeah. examined something, it usually... True. I mean, it doesn't hurt to look. True. God, thank God for the red check mark. Chicken bones, chicken knife. What about the white tape? Yeah, if you look at that, it just looks at the writing Do you have on the maybe floor. Converse with. Uh... Oh. oh, what the frick? Okay. Hello. <clears throat> what are you doing there? Oh, it's Mr. Sholmes. Look. Wow, you never know where he's going to turn up next, do you? He seems to be stealing a look at something as he sings to himself. Remember we heard singing. <laughs> and it was yes. obviously him. Tra la 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 I did it the great detective way. He's still singing. Do you think he hasn't noticed us? Or he's simply in extremely high spirits. Uh, I think being high and spirit has something to do with it. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, yes, there were times, I'm sure you knew, when the yard bit off more than it could chew. And through it all, when there was doubt, it's lucky her luck was about. Um, excuse me. I solved it all and stood, and I stood tall. I did it the great detective way. Mr. Sholmes! Ah! What? You want, you want to fight? Hmm? You want to fist a cup? Honestly, interrupting a fellow when he's singing, <laughs> and I was just about to reach the climatic finish. <laughs> this is, I have to make another YouTube channel now, where it's just shorts, and we have to put this animation in there. Ah, I very nearly dropped. <clears throat> I very nearly dropped to the floor with one of my famous right hooks. All right, I get the picture. Now, could you put those fists away? Fun fact, Holmes was actually an expert boxer and fencer. Yep. Mr. Sholmes? You seem to be examining something before we interrupted you. Ah, uh, yes, that. I was immersed in the study of the ship's log as penned by the stockily built crewman who's usually on guard here. A certain Mr. Stroganoff. Oh yes, the ship's log. And did you find out anything useful from it? Absolutely not. Well, after 2 a.m. this morning, the majority of the entries are blank. Which means that there is nothing to report. Nothing of note happened, so... <laughs> oh, you silly fool. You truly are a student from the land of the rising sun. I am so racist. You've been utterly blinded by it. <laughs> Sorry? Your logic, my boy, is inverted. I I have a feeling your logic is kind of inverted half the time too, but whatever. I got a feeling that his his cranium is inverted, as in a rectal cranial inversion. Whatever do you mean, Mr. Sholmes? Observe the other pages and all shall become clear. It would seem that the same crewman often stands sentry in the first-class passageway. And he has an almost religious practice of recording nothing to report every half hour. 
Oh, he writes that in every 30 minutes? Nothing to report. <laughs> Precisely. Put simply, the seaman writes nothing to report when there is just that. That's actually standard practice. And yet... The ship's log from last night is largely blank. He didn't even write nothing to report. Do you mean... <laughs> yes, there were circumstances afoot last night which led to the seaman being absent from his post. Eureka! What kind of circumstances? What happened? That remains a mystery for now, but we can be certain that something significant took place. So significant that it caused the seaman to forget his regular habit of scribing nothing to report in the log. Sorry, these are important details. I would stake my life on it. You must log the ship's log in your mental file. Ship's log has been entered into the court record. Okay. Now that deduction was worthy of a great detective. Ah, you're starting to understand what my way is, I see. What makes Sholmes, Sholmes? Brilliance! <laughs> oh, ouch. What is it? Are you hurt? Oh, don't worry yourself. It's just been over three months since I had a cocaine injection. I seem to be afflicted with a throbbing head this morning. For some reason, nothing more. What? Don't you mean a throbbing headache? What? Another person with hangover symptoms? I so thought, was like, big, fat... three people had been, like, knocked out by a conch to the head. Hmm. Well, my friends, until our next encounter. What was it like? A, was it like a kegger last night? Hmm. They're either having hangover symptoms or they've all been hit in the head. Because they don't say headache, they say, like, a throbbing head. Which could mean that they were hit over the head. Is something wrong, Susato san? You seem lost in thought. It's just. Well, I feel the same. What? Why does everyone have a. Sorry? Ever since I woke this morning, I've had something of a headache. Yeah, it did all get drunk. A sort of continuous throbbing. Oh, you too? I love that baby. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I, I think I'm piecing together exactly what happened. Mm. He's not dead. He He's almost dead. He's not dead. I mean, a broken neck is pretty fatal. Yeah. I doubt it's a broken neck. Why I do mean, you doubt it's a broken neck? That... We... Hang on. One sec. We've got evidence to look through. Hang on. We've got so much oh, evidence, shit. and then we have to end the episode. Ah, cliffhanger. Not you really. Always, you can always do the... Victim. Male Far Eastern. That time of death, sometime between 1 a.m. and a little past 2 a.m. Cause of death, damage to the cervical vertebra, resulting in instant death. Let me put it this way. If he's alive, they better have a damn good reason for it at this point. Yeah, no kidding. Wait, read the rest of that. Okay. Damage to the cervical, cervical vertebra resulting in instant death. The victim's neck was almost certainly broken as a result of a strong blow to the area. No obvious external injuries or traces of poison. I call bullshit. There should yeah, be some mark power. left if he was struck by a blunt object. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A scuff okay. and a broken object of some kind. Yeah. Captain's log. Captain's log. Start eight. Sounds like everyone. Sounds like everyone was knocked out. There are four lights. Whoa! There's a number on the back of his pin. A personal student number is engraved on the back of here. If you lose your pin, they won't accept you as a UMA student at the university. You may not come in, they say. Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, you well, can get a new... Well, we got part of his new... university now. <laughs> and you can get a new one clearly... made if you can just tell them your number. <laughs> I've actually and lost my... That's clearly... Sorry. <laughs> that's clearly not engraved. <laughs> yeah, it's like the opposite. Okay, I didn't even okay. read all that, but... That may come in at some point, who knows. What? It may the badge come in. number. Your badge number. It may come up. They wouldn't put but... it there for no reason. So I think mm, it's a good thing we I, I will tell you, on the other Ace Attorney games, they did have the... They did have, um... The other ones where you can interact with 3D objects, if you look at your attorney's badge. So in 4, I think 4, 5, and 6, or maybe just 4, they have, you can look at it, and it, there's a number engraved on the back, and it never comes into play. Yeah. It's just Ever. a fun detail. Yeah, it's just a fun mm. little detail. No one. Um, <laughs> where shall we go? Where do we go? Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. What? Air raid. The emergency ah. sirens going off. Shut down the engines. Shut down the engines immediately. Mile. Vessel sighted a quarter mile four. Full stop. Hard to starboard. All hands brace for impact. Oh, we're uh, under attack. What the? I think we're about to crash into another ship! What?! Four mile away? Uh, I can't see him! Sasato's on! Ah! I didn't read the rest of that sentence! Ah! Sasato's on! Are you alright? Are you injured at all? I, I, I think I'm fine. Thank you, Naruhara san! Looks like we avoided a collision. I think... Yes, the ship has come to a stop. Oh my goodness, what about you, Naruhara-san? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Who locked the door? Oh. Not Dannon! Uh... Maybe this is her lock? Maybe. Yeah, I think it might be Herlock. Give him, give him the Herlock <laughs> voice, anyway. Hello! Is there anyone in there? Shout if you need assistance. Oh, that sounds like... Oh. Oh, it's... Well, oh, well. close. Inspector Hosanada! <laughs> is that you in there, Narahodo-san? Unbolt the door, quickly! What? The bolt? Sorry, when switching to Hosanaga, I've got to move my body. Ah. Look at that! The door's bolted! Did you do that, Sasato-san? No, I didn't touch it! Well, that's strange. How did... And look at all the books. They're just like they were before again. <laughs> well, at least we know it's completely Are... random. Aren't you going to open the door and let the inspector in? Better tidy this place up first. Why? Our violent emergency stop had solved one mystery at the very least in a very vivid way, but I knew what that what awaited us on the other side of the cabin door would not be pleasant. I hurried around tidying up the cabin with a new sense of foreboding in my heart. Oh, did we get a... Oh my god, that was a short one. All right, all right. Um, so that'll what do it said. for this episode. Join us next episode for the next part of the investigation. See y'all. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.